Building any retool app that'll be useful for you and your team requires connecting a resource and working with data from your databases. This video will cover how to add a data source to retool. We'll cover the basics, like gathering connection parameters or showing the additional security measures you can implement, as well as point out common pitfalls to watch out for so that you can quickly begin adding your own databases to retool. We'll also cover specific examples for Postgres, MongoDB, GraphQL, and Firebase. From the Retool homepage, click the Resources tab to view or edit any resource you've already connected to Retool. To add a new resource, click Create New, which will bring you to a page that lists all of the databases and APIs you can currently connect to Retool. If your database or API isn't listed, please let us know. Connecting a Postgres database. To access your Postgres database via Retool, you'll need to first whitelist Retool's IP address. We're using DigitalOcean's managed Postgres service for this example, so copy the IP address from Retool, and then visit the DigitalOcean homepage. Click on the database cluster you're connecting to Retool, and under the Settings tab, add the IP address to the list of trusted sources. Keep in mind that the exact steps for whitelisting IP addresses will be different for different databases and hosting providers, so if you get stuck, check out our docs, which are linked below. After whitelisting Retool's IP address, you can connect your database by either typing in the connection parameters or by using a connection string. In DigitalOcean, return to the home page and click on the three dots next to the database cluster you're connecting to Retool. Then click Connection Details. Here, you can copy all of the connection parameters or the connection string. Again, remember that the details of how to get this connection string will vary based on your database and hosting providers, so check out our docs if you get stuck. For security, the connection string specifies that SSL is required. So back in Retool, you'll need to check the SSL box. If you want, you can also check the self-signed certificate box and then enter your client key and client certificate. If your database is beyond a firewall or in a restricted location, Retool also lets you use an SSH tunnel, as well as a bastion host for even tighter security requirements. If you need to use these features, be sure to consult our docs linked below. Click Use a Database Connection String and paste the connection string you just copied. Click the Test Connection button to ensure that everything was properly set up. If Retool is unable to connect to your database, you'll see error messages for what went wrong. Here, we forgot to type the password into the connection string, so let's fix that and test the connection again. Now, everything's working as expected. Click Create Resource, and now you can use this resource whenever you create new Retool apps. Connecting a MongoDB cluster. To access your Mongo database via Retool, you'll need to whitelist Retool's IP address. If you're self-hosting MongoDB, you can find more info on how to do this in our docs, linked below. We're using MongoDB's hosted solution, Atlas, for this example, so copy the IP address from Retool, then visit the MongoDB homepage. Click on the project, and in the left panel, click Network Access to add the Retool IP address. Keep in mind that the exact steps for whitelisting IP addresses will be different for different databases and hosting providers, so if you get stuck, check out our docs, which are linked below. After whitelisting Retool's IP address, you can connect your database by typing in your connection parameters or by using a connection string. In the left panel, navigate to the Clusters tab and click the Connect button. Click Connect Your Application, and here you can copy the connection string to paste into Retool. As noted in Mongo, be sure to replace the password and DB name fields with your own password and database name, or else the connection will not work. If you're copying your connection string from Atlas, Mongo will sometimes default the database name to test. Make sure to update it to the database that you want to use for your tool. For additional security, you can also check the SSL and self-signed certificate boxes to enter the client certificate and key. If your database is beyond a firewall or in a restricted location, Retool also lets you use an SSH tunnel, as well as a bastion host for even tighter security requirements. If you need to use this feature, be sure to consult our docs linked below. Click Use a Database Connection String, paste the connection string, and replace the password and DB name fields with your own password and database name. After you've configured the database, you can click the Test Connection button to ensure everything was properly set up. If not, Retool will display error messages for what went wrong. Here, we typed the password incorrectly, so let's fix that, and then test the connection again. Now, everything's working as expected. Click Create Resource, 
and you can use this resource whenever you create new retool apps. Connecting to GraphQL. To connect to GraphQL, you'll need the base URL of the API and any parameter or header values. In this case, we're using the GitHub GraphQL API, which uses an authorization token in the header. To retrieve this authorization token, log into GitHub, click Settings, then Developer Settings, and finally, Personal Access Tokens to generate an authorization token. Type the base URL of the API in Retool, and then the authorization header with this token. After you've configured the API, you can click the Test Connection button to ensure everything was properly set up. If not, Retool will display error messages for what went wrong. Click Create Resource. And now you can use this resource whenever you create new Retool apps. Connecting to Firebase. Retool supports Firebase's admin API to allow you to manage users, query and update from Firebase's real-time databases, and query from Firestore. To connect to the Firebase API, you'll need the database URL, project ID, and private key. Let's walk through exactly where to find them in the Firebase project console. The Firestore project ID is easy to find in the Firebase console settings. Go to console.firebase.google.com and click on your project. Then the settings icon, project settings, and your project ID will be right there. Copy and paste this into Retool. Finding the database URL is a bit trickier. Back in Firebase, click on Database in the left panel, and then toggle from Cloud Firestore to Real-Time Database. This URL is what you'll need to copy into Retool. Finally, the Service Account key is a JSON blob that you can create from your Google Cloud Platform Console. Go to console.cloud.google.com, navigate to the Project Settings, and in the left panel, click Service Accounts. Click the three dots next to Firebase Admin SDK and click Create Key. Choose the JSON one and it'll download, then you can copy it into Retool. If you want to create a special key, you can do that via the Create Service Account option at the top. After you've configured the API, you can click the Test Connection button to ensure everything was properly set up. If not, Retool will display error messages for what went wrong. Click Create Resource, and now you can use this resource whenever you create new Retool apps.